himself in the front line. Obviously, you can just jump into the enemy, but your Shock Blast will be a priority here with the poke that you have with Ezreal. The EG lineup really just wants to keep their distance, disengage, and then once they're whittled down or somebody's isolated, then they can quickly pounce. All right, it looks like, yep, yeah, Oriana instead. Silas was interesting. Now you don't have that many good ults to steal. But Oriana, pretty safe, pretty standard here. Abadaga, obviously known for many picks. I think Ariana's certainly up there. I think it's something that basically every mid laner. Danny and Jazuka can buy to poke away 100 thieves. Fun little interactions there on the top side. Seems like there's a lot going on actually in Gwen vs. Nah. But uh, unfortunately, uh, Udir and Gwen vs. Nah is a very different matchup. Crumbs. Someday maybe looks like he's going to get baited in here by Impact. Ooh, almost. Meg Megan Nah. Oh, now he knows. He's like, oh, no. Nope. There's an Udir here, of course. Does have the flash. Great shove there for Someday. Uses the ult to disengage, gonna be hit by the ulti, but he's gonna flash, should be just fine indeed, he will be. Ooh, yes, yeah, still that deadly. Though. Away from that one, and now the Rift Herald is in the top side, and you just burned a lot of HP, Jazuke has flashed. Oh, there it is, the Shockwave though, this time will be flashed by Jazuke, but a very nice equalizer, trying to set it up, still first blood on the table, they're gonna go back after Someday, now a mini nah, no flash, no hope, hold the hop, maybe it's enough to cut it out, the grasp is proc Someday, how'd you live there, buddy? What an outplay out of Someday, now the rest of the team is collapsing, do they, ooh, he's out of there. Out. It back like, gets oh, out. I ain't staying around Woo. here. Close is looking for him with Close the flank. Crumbs. I was like looking across trying to find Gangplank or Twisted Fate right. trying to figure out <laughs> nope. what happened with all this gold. Just landing. And look at mid too. Three, yes. Okay, I'm going to close that later. This is a mystery that we'll have to solve another time. As Ben Scarin does indeed cash in the Herald for a couple of plates here on Impact. Great place to put the gold there, but who he is in pursuit to be oh, one. No. Sven Scarin, is he going to be the one to give up first blood? Up a dog is here as well. The Rift Herald's dead. They didn't even get the plates, Crumb. Shelly. They didn't even get the plates. Shelly got distracted. It's a tragedy. Poor Shelly. She saw the mid. His recall canceled by pesky old Ezreal. Sven Scarin going for round two on Shelly this time. All right, second time, you might get to proc the Herald on a turret, so that's the goal here for Evil Genius, just because this is not going to get you plates, it's just going to get you an opportunity to whittle down one of these turrets. Mid has not taken enough damage to be taken down from here, and at least they're in a position to take the fight, but... Under the level 11, which is real nice for any rumble, whether you're jungle or lane, and we do have 45 seconds till this dragon is ready to go. Shelly this time gets the charge off on two towers, actually feeling good. As Huey looking for the ulti down on Jazuke, but someday oh. we're trying to dodge it, but Huey's right in there. Ignite, flash, slap on, oh! The Scoopy Whoopy, and Huey's gonna grab the kill. Jazuke wanted to fight that. He wanted to try to take. Trying to make some space for themselves. The poke has to hit. That's already two shock blasts that don't have a lot of value. Ezreal and Jace really need to land this. They're getting shoved back because their cooldowns are down. Now 100 Thieves feels a bit better. They have all their ultimates available and have position in River. All right, 100 Thieves have kind of pushed their way through. They've got their vision down. They're going to start the Dragon and force EG to come to them. Sven Skarin, got to be careful with the ball. There's somebody almost retreads him. He's got Megan already back to go. And now it's impact. Yeah, you got to get out of there. Skips around. Someday he's going to transform and get in there. Then he's going to leave the dragon. They're going to go for the fight instead. His closer got knocked back by the Jace, I believe. But a good equalizer is impact. Gets ulti there by Leon. FBI charged it in there. Takes out impact as Huey goes golden to protect himself from a little bit of extra follow up damage. And now Abadaga finds one with the shockwave and forces the flash on the second as Fence Garen runs. But Ignar is not so lucky. 100 D just doing it all here with Jazuke. Going to get finished off by someday. They yeah, kind will, but more importantly, this next fight, it is imperative that the poke hits early, though. Huey goes in. He's already in on Tigna. Equalizer down as well. Huey's down the rest of them, but he's so tanky, man. As Igna is going to be forced to flash the ulti as Danny. He's still doing damage. FBI's got to dodge. Does get out of the last two skill shots here. Fence Karen also running up, but someday he's the one we got to watch now. There's the rest of them are being chased. What a poke there. Onto FBI. Oh. Now he's the target. It's Huey. It's going to lock up Jazuke. It's just too far forward. His closer is going to flash out of the way, but Impact, can he finish it off? No, he can't. As Danny can't quite get it either. There's Abadaga once again. Solo kills Zeke now on the other side of your screen. As FBI is taking down Gwen. EG just diving too far forward into the rest of 100 Thieves. And there's just nothing they can do. As Fence Karen, he is trying so so hard for one killer's daddy oh. can't even get that one it is an ace across the rift as hundred thieves clean up evil genius that was a one-way ticket for evil geniuses into hundred thieves is waiting on. thieves can get engaged upon that's what ignar is known for though finding these flanks but they're splitting him up there's plenty of control wards and what uh, can sven scary do against the something like flank. Here? he's gonna try gets the uh damage out good little bit of long range poke who he's there as well that cuts him off for the equalizer does close it out the shockwave oh. 
Oh. Catches the flash as well as FBI yeets on in for the kill. That's what consecutive miracles is what they need. And Ignar has to be the savior that rains down from the heavens and find these. And you're going to have to catch multiple targets at the same time. They might be going after it someday here, but he's fast. It's a good start. Stride Break Rock gets slowed off by the Chilling Smite. Hops around now. Impact, the one he didn't expect coming around the corner. Someday with the Flash does use it, but I think he's still going to be caught. The stun is there. That should seal it. Someday can't get out this time. Goes into Stasis because the Thieves are rushing down the base, and Someday's just trying to buy a time. It is Impact that finally finds that shutdown. But 100 Thieves will... to make some mistakes. They already have the Scuttle. This will really help them. Already, though, not much poke from EG has landed, and the carries already have a better position to avoid it. And Svenskeren is taking a little bit too much poke. Ignar going for a flank. Oh, good attempt steal, but they still got it. The smite is good for closer. And now Ignar just caught out slow by the ulti at the end of it all. And Someday's just looking for it. Who is diving in there with a the Zenith Blade? Crunch on top by Someday seals Ignar's fate. And 100 Thieves not even walking down mid. They're just going to go straight to Baron. Now EG have to fight 4v5. Even phase checking this feels so way too much gold ahead at this point. EG gonna have to try and defend here at their nexus. 100 Thieves are moving in for the kill. That's the equalizer. Gwen goes in, already popped the shroud, so there's no way to fight it now. Oh my god, the tower's just melting here. FBI just shooting him. Unafraid, he's got barons everywhere. Spence Garen just gets killed by FBI. And now the rest of the fight will begin, but it's so one-sided. EG, not much left they can do, but they'll try. As Inbex going to get slain by and close. FBI diving in again, getting low, but that's not dead. And EG are going to fall as 100 Thieves will claim the Nexus. Oh, but Duncan lives. He doesn't die again. My fantasy! He, he doesn't he die. The stopwatch right oh, at the very end. To keep